Well, running mate for the NDC, Professor Anana Jenopukwajiman says the questions raised about her receipt of salaries from the University of Cape Coast are misplaced. In a yet-to-be-heard interview, she suggests that she has been working with the university since leaving the education ministry. She also hints that the decision to rejoin her faculty was taken reluctantly. She was speaking to Daniel Dazi. And I didn't know many people were very, very knowledgeable about how universities are run, how post-retirement post contracts are given. I didn't know that, but I'm glad. So I was telling the registrar, Next time we advertise, there'll be many, many applicants. We won't be scratching our head anymore about who qualifies. Mm -hmm. So let me leave it here. So Many of the stories will come. As we get closer, oh, you'll hear many of so them. So you did not receive money from All I'm saying is that the registrar, why shouldn't I? Mm -hmm. I'm not a citizen. I don't work at the university. No, what, what is that? Where is that coming from? What's mm -hmm. that supposed to mean? So were they part of your terms and conditions? Go to the university and find out again. Mm. Go and get the number of PhDs and masters I've graduated since I left the ministry. Go and find out the role I play. So do your homework. Mm. So I don't know whoever triggered this and what it's supposed to say. Mm. So the registrar will put out a statement. Mm. And as I said, the university is a very public place. You can consult our statutes, you can consult our acts can consult, you know, what I even heard that I saw, said, oh, something about the academic board. I said, look at this. What has this got to do with the academic board? Mm. 